I'm going to put on the uh, LED taillight for this um, 89 Sportster I got. <laughs> I had this bike 22, 23 years, almost 23 years. Um, so, the only light I got on the back of this bike is the taillight. You know, these like, these can be modified to, um, you know, the other side lights, the turn signals can be modified to um, light up. But this is the only light I got. So, just to give a comparison, this is the taillight on. And there's your brake light. I don't know how much this is going to come out. Tail light on, then the brake light. So, next thing I'm going to throw in the LED and see if it's different. I think it is. I think it's going to be a lot brighter and it's supposed to be a uh, blinker. The other thing is, they're like supposed to be 100% reliable. I always change these out every once in a while with a long life heavy duty bulb because it's the only light I got in the back. So, besides a reflective plate, there's nothing. And I got this off of eBay. It was a race chopper cycle, cycle, whatever the hell it is. Um, 565 Rossi Court, Gilroy, California. It's chopper cycle, choppercycle.com. Cheap. Now, if you get the uh, headlight, the damn thing runs you probably like $270. That's why I'm not getting a headlight for, you know, an LED. I'd like to get one. I mean, if it was like 30 bucks, I probably would. This is $15. You can see there's a pile of LEDs in there. You just got to make sure you have it installed in the right direction. And the other thing that I do is I always use this dielectric grease because you never know to get a little corrosion. A lot of times there's always some kind of corrosion that happens. Obviously nothing happened with this one, but that's the only light you got on the back of some motorcycle, so I want an LED. Well, I personally think it sucks to tell you the truth. I don't think it works that good. You know, that's what it does. whip de doo right? I don't think that's really an improvement. Except it won't burn out. That's the only thing that's good about it. You know, the only other good thing is it don't light up your license plate very good. So, that might be good. Maybe I'll keep it. Now, this is what the LED installed. Tell you the truth, I don't like it. The, um, from the back, it might be about as bright. When you pull on the brake light, it blinks. It's not brighter, but the difference where it's not brighter is... See, if you have a regular bulb in here, this would reflect up through this silver, and then this whole thing would be lighting off the license plate, which is highly reflective. So it'd be a hell of a lot brighter in the back, even when you pulled on a brake light. That's not doing anywhere near as good as the regular bulb. So I'm not going to change this out with the LED. I'm just going to keep the LED as a spare. This isn't that good, to tell you the truth. I don't like it. So... Uh, you know, I heard a lot of rave reviews about LED lights and stuff. That they're much brighter and safer. Uh, not in this case. I don't like this one, to tell you the truth. So, But it's good to keep as a spare because it won't break. You know, that's the one thing. You can keep them in a the saddlebag. And uh, they get knocked around a little bit. They're not going to break. They're just LEDs.